Okay, so remember I had a corner in there already and then I added another corner? Really a better technique would be to delete that corner. Oh, by the way, what I did was I highlighted it and I hit delete on my keyboard. The other thing you could do is use your contextual menu and select delete. So I'm removing that corner so the corner is not there. What I'm going to do is double click a corner. And uh, for each one of these, I tried to demo how to modify it in case it didn't come out right for you. In case your corner didn't come out right, no big deal. Just double click it. Rotate that around so I can see that other edge. I'm just going to add that edge by simply grabbing that edge. Notice that there's only one corner in the tree. I'll select OK. All right. That's how I got my corner in there. I'll do one last thing. I'll create a hole. Uh, sorry, under refine is the hole feature. And I'm going to grab this edge of this arc and pick this face. What it does is it finds the center of that and puts that hole in the exact same corner as this one. So they share the same center radius. I'll make that a diameter of 3 divided by 8. No, that's the radius of those two. So let's go with uh, a diameter of a quarter inch. So I got a quarter inch hole there. Whoops, sorry. Double click that to modify it. I want to say from a blind hole up to last, and that will get the hole to make sure it will always go through that flange no matter what. So if I change the thickness of the flange later on, the hole will automatically know to go through it. So again, that's a diameter of a quarter inch. Do you remember how I did it? I don't have a trick for you to do it twice. You have to do it again. If you can do it again, try it on your own. Otherwise, I'm about to do it for the second time. Again, step one is to grab the whole feature. Step two is to grab this edge up here on the top. And step three is to grab anywhere on this face. Look, I'll be way over here. I'll click on that face. It'll still snap that hole to be concentric with the radius on this outside edge. It defaults to up to next because that's what I used last. It defaults to the same radius or diameter I used last. I can select OK. And that is how you get your holes in your flange. Can you duplicate this on the other side? Can you create a flange that comes up and out the other way and create the corners and the holes? That's my challenge to you. If you can't do it, I'll continue on in the next video.